Today we are going to one of the most historic franchises in the history of the National Hockey League to watch a game. The Montreal Canadiens are facing off against the Edmonton Oilers. Now, normally when I do this challenge, I keep it to $100. However, this is part of a video series where I surprised my grandfather, who is a lifelong Habs fan, with tickets to his first NHL game, so I wanted to make it special. Funny enough, I've only seen the Canadiens play once. It was my 19th birthday in Ottawa when I was studying at university. They lost in a shootout to the Senators by a final score of 4-3. to Jeff Petrie scored twice in that game, and Al Montoya had a 35 save performance. And right after that, puck goes off at Bukestad, and then right to the stick of Ekblad, and there's that all-world save from Al Montoya. Desperation time leaps across. So this will also be my first time as I walk into the Bell Center. The player I'm most excited for to watch today is obviously Connor McDavid. I mean, even though I'm a Habs fan, you got to admit he's the best player in the world right now. We'll start off with the tickets. We went in the 300 section in the center of the rink and it was $699.38. For context, my grandfather the day before said he wanted to go to the Saturday game also. Tell everybody what you just did. I just ordered tickets for the New York Rangers, uh, New York Islanders game. <laughs> so we were only going to go see one game, now we're seeing two because he found out that there's also a game on Saturday and wanted to do both of them. Which was against the New York Islanders. So not an all-Canadian matchup without the best player in the world on the ice and it was a total of $273.06 which really shows the difference in pricing when it comes to opponents. We were a little off-center on the seats for the Saturday game but not $400 off if you ask me. Now my grandfather can't walk long distances due to his ankle so for two Ubers from our hotel to and from the stadium was $18.18. .18. Merci. Yeah, yeah. Assez bonne nuit, eh? Have a good night. When we got there, Pop wanted the shirt with his favorite player on it, Cole Caulfield. Huh? I think it's your new t-shirt. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I decided to grab a vintage sweater. These went for a total of $218.43. This leaves us with $64 and a penny throughout the duration of the game. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, he definitely has to get a smoked meat sandwich. He's in Montreal. And listen, while I should have, I just really don't like them, okay? I'm sorry. I don't know what it is, but I just can't get behind them. And I know, again, I'm so sorry, but if you don't like it, you don't like it. We did have a classic poutine, which was $9.25. To be honest though, this wasn't great if I do say so myself, but stay tuned because when I was in Montreal, I went to four other poutine shops that are supposedly the best in the world. Who doesn't love to stay hydrated? Two bottles of water go for $11.50. Love box water, but hate how they do automatically take the cap off for you. I understand this rule for alcohol, but I'm curious how it started for non-alcoholic beverages. If someone knows, could you please tell me? Can't go to a game without some popcorn. This will bring you in $8. Now, my grandfather actually loved the hot dogs here, so it worked out nice that they had this deal. Two hot dogs and a bag of chips for $15.50. And with what was left of our budget, I went and got some cherry blasters for $6.25, which actually leaves us with $13.51 out of our $1,000 budget. So what do you think? Good deal or not? Take into account we didn't have to buy new merchandise, and depending on the game, your ticket cost could vary a lot. All that being said, I wanted to make this as special as possible for my pop, so I'm really glad I did it. And seeing Montreal beat Edmonton 6-2 was a real treat. Where should I go to next? In the meantime, stay best, guys.